Fred Fury Radio, this is Kiarani Coletti from the 31st Torino Film Festival. I'm glad to welcome back home Fred, Tibor Banoschi and Sarolta, eh, Sarolta Sabo, directors of the film Why Plastic Sky in competition here. Welcome back. How are you? Hi, welcome. welcome. We are very happy to meet you again and we are absolutely thrilled to be part of uh, Torino Film Festival. It's really a huge thing for us, especially because this is an animated feature film for adults, so it's really, really an uh, important festival for the film. So how is Torino treating you so far? So far it's brilliant. The city is uh, wonderful. Just walked uh, this morning and we were amazed by the architecture and, uh, and, the, and the look of the city. So this is our first time in Torino. We've never been here before, so, so far so good. So for those who didn't listen, shame on you, uh, to my interview during Berlinale, would you describe why Plastic Sky, at least how it started? Uh, we started uh, this animation film in uh, 2015, so eight, eight years ago. Yeah. The, the, uh, fa uh, to fa find the funding and to write the script and develop the idea and to, to make the production, it took us seven years to make the film, but this is an absolutely normal length for an animation feature film. Yeah, what was interesting that uh, our film is a dystopian science fiction love story and how much the world has changed uh, during those seven years. So we felt that the world came a bit of closer to our film, sadly. <laughs> Yes, before going to that point, because we already discussed it, but there's there's been some addiction to to uh, let's say to to keep the the film very contemporary. <laughs> oh, last time we never talked about how White Plus Sky is also an above all a love story. So I was wondering, um, what came first? I mean, the love story or the idea of talking about you know where we heading in a way. The first idea for us, it was this uh, kind of hybrid uh, image about uh, this strange life form between humans and trees. So th this, was the, this was the starting point for us. And uh, when we were thinking, discussing this subject, uh, the, the, the state of our world, the climate crisis, uh, uh, was another another thing we uh, what was inspiring for us, uh, and that's how we we started uh, this this subject. And uh, the, from very early on, we we told that we want to uh, speak about these huge questions about this uh, big moral decision in a in a small love story. So that's how we started to develop the idea. Yes, because we were we believe that um, you can speak about the world and the and the crisis of the world, but you have to. But this message has to be carried by humans and loves and you know the all these family and love uh, matters and uh, uh, and so we think that this is firstly a, a love story uh, wrapped in a kind of a dystopian package or decoration. I remember in Berlinale we already talked about the fact that uh, it is a dystopian future, but you you couldn't believe that the film after you know seven years at the time and now eight could be uh, so um, not that dystopian in terms of what we're living today. And I was thinking um, about your film about the um, the AI debate that is currently uh, taking place so I was wondering what do you think about also that I mean the film is becoming even more I mean actual I think we can we can we can uh, look it from different perspectives first <laughs> it's very sad that we are going that way and and uh, and every day we are hearing and listening some kind of terrible news about uh, about the the planet you know like yeah. just uh, last week the planet reached uh, to celsius uh, i don't know yeah, yeah. Uh, a point uh, 
at the same time, maybe it's written already. It was written thousand years ago that civilization has an end. And, uh, yeah. you know, maybe what we ask also in the movie that uh, that that maybe the life on the pl this planet is much more important than life on uh, life of the humans. But it's very hard to accept as a human you know, that we yeah, yes. that we will end at some point. Um, I I remember reading your um, your director's notes and uh, you close your director notes saying that we must rethink the way we treat this planet because why plastic sky hints at what will happen if we don't. So um, do you still believe? I don't know after what you just said. But do you, do you still believe that there's hope for, you know, to to reverse that? And um, do you feel responsibility as directors, as filmmakers, as artists to, um, you know, to say, to speak to the, the audience? I mean, uh, we, we, we are very skeptical about that uh, mm. a film can change the way of, things are happening in the world so we don't think that this film will start a revolution and uh, the the people will, will will behave and live differently because of this film but for us the most important thing that at least people we can create conversation with the people so so uh, our aim was to to find uh, uh, an end for this film in the story, I mean, which can be a little bit uh, harsh to the audience, which can be a little bit provocative for them. If we wanted to make a film, then we don't offer the 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 very, very nice and uh, happy answer that yes, our heroes uh, uh, could save this world and they could save humanity in this world. We wanted to show the audience a different kind of ending and different kind of evolution of this world because we thought it could be more more provocative for them and uh, it's not uh, not that they leave the cinema that they think okay we saved the world in this film so of course we can save it easily in reality. We call it uh, there is a hope but there is a complicated hope. It's a complicated hope what we <laughs> what we are having now. It's uh, uh, of course it should be a hope. Uh, it just at the moment uh, it's difficult to see uh, the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> and it was interesting because when we spoke with we spoke now with many people about what they think about this ending. Is yeah. it a happy end for them or not? And it was interesting because many young families with uh, young children, they told us that for, for, for them it was a happy ending because it was a good thing for them to think that there will be, after humanity, there will be something mm. in this world and there could be something continue. I don't no. know if I explain it well. No, no, I like that because uh, you sort of anticipated my last question because I remember leaving you and asking you what we, you were expecting from Berlinale, and you both said that you were uh, you wanted you were curious about what the audience would say about your your character's choices, and uh, so my question would be, what happened? Then, so, and uh, what are you expecting also from this experience here in Torino? It, it, it was nice to see, uh, I think, during uh, this year and after the Berlin Alley that, uh, that uh, this film, which is an animated film, can go, uh, can a bit um, uh, kind of, can go out of the animation world and 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 enter into festivals like art house festivals genre festivals and that's that's why it's a big thing for us that we are in in torino mm. because it's not an animation festival and and you know being an animated film uh, among the live action films it's it's always an a very interesting for us and uh, and uh, it's always a coming from animation you know this is what i think uh, everybody in the animation world is fighting for that, you know, we are 
accepted <laughs> we are accepted outside the animation uh, World. Yeah. bubble yeah so tibor balowski <laughs> charlotte sabo uh, directors of white plus sky good luck thank you for being again with us and i hope to welcome back uh welcome you back in the future on Friday to talk about your future projects or why plus sky traveling and going to as many festivals as possible so thank you so much again thank you very thank much. you very much uh, uh, why plus sky is in competition at the 41st torino film festival i'm carnie Coletti for Friday the festival insider